Cool no game audio. Oh god, there's two of me. Hold on. Curling <laughs> jump scare. <laughs> Hi, a uh, cool no cool no uh game intro music. Uh nice to see you. Uh today we are playing a this game's title is crazy, I know, but just just bear with me, okay? <laughs> Uh, so some housekeeping things. H hello. Um, tier two subscribers to this channel now get the Mr. Beast emote. <laughs> because I'm out of slots for tier one. So, uh, congrats to people who are tier two, I guess. You can be Mr. Beast. It's, if you if you've ever wanted to be Mr. Beast, I guess that's it. I, I I guess um those um the 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 um the the higher tiers are best to do like silly things with because then it's not like oh I need this for everyday use. Though I don't know, maybe some people do need everyday use for Mr. Beast. Uh, well, how am I supposed to know? Uh, but you know. I, Glad to have you here. Uh, so this game is called Suck Up. Because you're a vampire. Get it? Okay, cool. Please keep Peter as tier one. <laughs> it's important. No, sorry. We can't chat. You're, you're not going to be able to post Peter Griffin for long. I'm going to take away your Peter power. Peter power? <laughs> Peter Power, but uh, this game is called Suck Up, and let me tell you, the t the experience I had trying to get this game to capture, I spent a solid like twenty minutes. And the thing is, I don't get to capture this game, um, or I don't get to use my regular microphone, or not my regular mic, the my regular mic source for this because. Uh, give us, give us the funny hacker dude back at tier two. No. No. He's tier, he's, a, he's in tier three. Don't worry about it. Um, but this game was hard to capture. It was really hard to capture. For some reason, it, it wouldn't, it wouldn't work. Um, I don't know why it wouldn't work. Um, I... Sorry, it's been four days. I forget how to stream. There's so much to say. Uh, I ha had to run OBS as administrator. And um, that allowed me to capture the game. Yeah. And it did, but it also disallowed me from using my microphone in OBS for some godforsaken reason. But uh, it could also be because I changed something because uh, Hackerling has an index now. Uh, Tywaris, thank you for the 35 months in Tier 3. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, glad you, if you enjoy the emotes, congrats on the Mr. Beast. <laughs> and a guitar. What, what, Hacker has a guitar? What? Uh, e -li -li, thank you for the two months. And Private Kane, thank you for the Tier 1. For 36 months, three years, Monka S. Three years. Happy almost New Year's chat. How was the index set up? It was decent, actually, though I feel kind of bad because I recorded basically my entire process. And uh, it was awful. <laughs> because at first it wasn't working how it was supposed to, and I was very upset. I'm like, why? Everyone was so excited about this and said this would fix everything, and now I'm having to deal with more tech issues. <laughs> But I fixed it. I fixed it. And now I don't have to worry about uh, meta itself, I guess. Yahoo, 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 yahoo. <laughs> Happy almost New Year's chat. Uh, what else did I want to say before I started? Oh, um. I talked about Satellite by Guster on the stream. Was it last time? I, I, I talked about that particular song. And someone else mentioned a song. Uh, sleeping satellites and um I haven't been able to stop listening to that for the past two days 
and I, I maybe maybe learned it a little bit on the guitar, just a little bit. But I won't be showing you that. No, I will not be showing you that. Nope. I am I am good, and I will be exercising restraint. But if you if you if you also want to learn it, you have to transpose it down. One transpose it down one key one 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 semitone. Is it one? Because uh, the original key of the song uses exclusively bar chords, and it hurts. <laughs> No, thank you. No, thank you. I will just, I will, I will take it one key lower. That's fine for me. Okay, suck up. Let's play this game. What is this game? You may be wondering, chat. Uh, this game is a little bit different. It's, it's, it's just a little bit different. Okay. Let's see. Um, is this the window for the suck up? There it is. Suck up. Limes was playing this game earlier. So, how do they describe this game? So, suck up. You are. V I'll start a new game actually, and maybe it'll explain it. A cool vampire like you shouldn't be bumming it up in the dump. Taking over someone's house is as easy as giving. Uh, can you hear the game audio? As giving them a little bite, but silly vampire rules dictate you need to get invited inside first. Dress to impress and use your wicked wit to win the invitation, but tread carefully. The local neighborhood watch is on patrol with eyes sharper than a wooden stake. Let's go hunting. So this game, okay. This game uses... Generative AI, but not in the way that most games do. Because I feel like most of the time in games it gets a bad rap because people do it because they're lazy. Um, in this game, I give responses to the characters. And they give responses to me based on what I'm saying to them. And so the idea is that I want to get invited into their house, right? So let's, let's, let's see how this goes. I think they have a text-to-text voice -to -text thing. But this in my opinion, is actually a good use. <laughs> like, I feel like more creative uses, if people are going to use it, should be encouraged rather than just, you know, taking from a bunch of people's art and saying, I made this smile because I don't want to, I don't want to pay. I don't want to, I don't want to pay artists but uh you know i haven't i haven't played i've only seen limes play this so i don't know how it's how it's going to go fashion dreamer i love fashion dreamer i need to get back to playing this again hold the right mouse button to record voice can you hear this Why, hello there, young fella. What brings you knocking on Grammy's door at this hour? Is there something I can help you with, my dear? Um, any bold predictions for 2024? Rain. 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 Yeah, the, the, the music is pretty low. In general, for me, I'll probably hit just that. Uh, do I want to? Do I want to record my voice? It's it's supposed to be able to tell what I'm saying, and uh, I don't. Well, I may as well try once. What brings you knocking on Grammy's door at this hour? Is there something I can help you with, my dear? Hello, Grammy. How are you doing on this fine evening? I must say your dress is beautiful. Did it work? Did it work? Did it work? <gasps> Hello, grand me. Ah, hi. Oh, now it works. Hello, grand me. <laughs> hi. <laughs> well, hello, dear, my dear construction worker. Oh, what can I? I like how it. I like how it transcribed the the, the little stutter. <laughs> hi. What can I do for you today? Are you perhaps in need of a cup of warm tea or perhaps freshly baked cookies? <gasps> cookies! 
Grandma, how did you know that I love cookies? What kind of cookies did you bake? <laughs> oh my dear, it's just a hunch. As for the cookies, I made a little bit of everything. Chocolate chip, oatmeal raisin, and my special secret recipe for snickerdoodles. How many would you like, my sweet construction worker? She's literally me. Chat, I would like to brag. I made cinnamon rolls, and they look beautiful. I just, I just, I felt compelled to tell you that for, for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> they just, they just, they turned out so well. And they looked so, so beautifully. And, um, they didn't give me food poisoning. And, uh, also they looked like cinnamon rolls. <laughs> I thought that was important. Um, chocolate chip. Chat, what kind of cookies do we want? How do they taste? It tastes Fantastic. Um, at first I was a little bit worried because I didn't want to undercook them, but the texture was fantastic. I think I could have made the icing a little bit sweeter, um, but with the, the, the dough itself, it tasted fantastic. Uh... Uh, Kazi, or KZ101, uh, thank you for the tier one. Thank you very much. The secret recipe, the snickerdoodles. Ooh, snickerdoodles. Um, I would love to try the snickerdoodles, please. Could you show me the recipe for it? Oh, <gasps> it's actually, it's detecting what I'm saying really well. Oh, my dearie, I'd be more than happy to share the recipe with you. But I must warn you, this Snickerdoodles has been passed down through generations and is considered a family secret. I'll have to trust you won't be telling everyone about it. Uh, can I trust you, my dear construction worker? Can she trust us, chat? Can she trust us? No, no, she can't trust us, smile. <laughs> I promise I will keep the secret with all of my heart for as long as I live, Grandma. Grandma loves me. Well, bless your heart, dear construction worker. I appreciate your sincerity. Come on, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Grandma! Come here, Grandma. This wasn't in the recipe. I'm sorry, Grandma. It was important. This was important, Grandma. I'm sorry. Can't... Wait a second. There's no cookies in here. Grandma lied to me? What is the premise of this game besides characters responding to your dialogue or game? That is the premise of this game. No, I am Grandma Chat. Oh, the crickets are in the music. Okay. Well, um, I think we got the recipe now. Uh, the recipe is uh, to become Grandma. Uh, Chad, you want to learn how to make cookies just like Grandma? Well, the good news is you can't. You have to become Grandma. Yes. Fimo Cam, thank you for the 48 months. Four years, it makes my old crumbling heart to see how much you've accomplished. <laughs> Thanks for the last and good company. Hopefully we'll run into each other sooner than later in the spooky real world. Much love to you, Mika and Peeper. Thank you, Vimo Cam. You. I think you are one of the only founders who is still subscribed to my channel right now. You, you are one of the remaining founders. Thanks for sticking around this long. It means a lot. We'll see each other, I promise. And, and we will shake hands with, with jolly and excitement. Um, Ash Sams, thank you for the seven months. Bring on the heirloom snickerdoodles. Uh, well, I got the recipe now. Um, what did you do to the other founders? Oh, you shouldn't be asking me what I did to them, but what they did to themselves, a smile. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. You can't prove it. There's no evidence. 
<laughs> uh, chat, by the way, uh, when I got my index, I recorded the Aperture Hand Lab. And the, I have the, f the full recording of the Aperture Hand Lab up on my VOD channel. And you can watch that if you'd like. It is exclusive VOD channel footage. So I think that is very exciting. See, you can... What hap what ha don't what don't happen with the other? Uh, I think the the actual answer is that you know uh, people people uh, have different interests over time, and not everyone wants to stay subscribed, and that's fine. Uh, I don't really mind. I appreciate the support of the blue insulated backpack. Wear open thermos. Oh, can I have a cup? I want a cup of coffee, please. 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 Knock, knock. Talking makes it harder. Because I feel like... I feel like I can't, um... I feel like I can't say what I want to say when I'm saying things out loud. And Park, thank you for the four months. I made a stream finally. Thank you for making the last four months a little bit better. Uh, thank you for saying that. I, I hope that you enjoyed. Um, I'm glad that you enjoyed. And uh, uh, thanks. Uh, Yo, what's poppin'? Come to welcome my crib. Bring the vibe and get lit. You know, back in the old days, I used to get lit all of the time. Will it understand what I said? <gasps> no way, really? That's lit, fam. Tell me more about those old school lit days. <laughs> Wait, why was that a dislike? Don't you like getting lit? <laughs> Lil Swipe. Um... Chat, what was it like in the old, in the old days? <laughs> Have you ever heard of my secret recipe for snickerdoodles? Smile. <laughs> you smile. <laughs> smile, smile. Yeah. Whoa, snickerdoodles, that's fire. <laughs> Pull the ears. Spill the tea on this secret recipe, fam. <laughs> His smile. I forgot that smile doesn't translate to the real world and real conversations. You know, usually when you're talking to someone, you just smile. You don't say smile. Oh, uh, uh, secret recipe. Oh, what is it about the secret recipe, Chad? Why? Why would they love? Um, uh, it's, it's it's laced with their weeds weed snickerdoodles. How about that? Do you like do you like that? Do you like weed? It, 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 would, would, would the A get mad at me for that? Um, <laughs> the funny weed. You know, every time I'm in the kitchen, I feel like I'm. I'm high as a kite with my wonderful recipes, just like you. <laughs> oh, thanks for the compliment, but you know, I'm not into that kitchen vibe. After the past, I'm inviting your aunt. Stay groovy, though. This, this person does not take edibles. That was my mistake. They don't do edibles. Got it. Hold on. Let me let me uh, allow this message. Uh, Sunra, thank you for the ten months. Please tell me about this skivity toilet. I don't know. I'm not a zoomer. Uh, uh, President Obarney, thank you for the six months. And uh, Ionis again. Uh, well, here we go. Ooh. No, I don't think you saw anything, actually. I'm just an old granny out being a grandma. Shh. Knock, knock. 
Brian Bitcoin. <laughs> oh my God! It's 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 Brian Bitcoin. <laughs> this is real. Whoa, dude! You caught me off guard. What's brewing with you tonight? Uh, yes. Is this John Bitcoin? I am looking for some financial advice. Oh no, it's Brian Bitcoin. <laughs> Close but not quite, bro. I'm Brian Bitcoin, the crypto guru. As for financial advice, I got the thing for you. Have you considered <laughs> donating to the world of crypto? <laughs> <laughs> Literally any time someone has a blue check on Twitter, this this and this is what their replies look like. Yeah, I'm like really into index funds right now, um, but the cryptocurrency is kind of the craze. If you're not like a coward and into into high risk, high yield investments. Yeah, I'm a risky investor and it like totally worked out because I bought Bitcoin in 2006. So I got in like before the boom. So like I know what I'm talking about. Mm, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, good morning. <laughs> It's all the rage these days, and Bitcoin is leading the way to the moon. Should I spill the beans? I'm afraid I don't know a lot about this Bitcoin. However, I have $400,000 to invest. That's a lot of money, right? Yeah, well, that's a serious cash. Bitcoin's been the <laughs> But you gotta be careful in the crypto world. It's like riding the wave. So here's a deal with the kind of Why did I just say all of that? <laughs> Why did I just say... <laughs> you gotta do your research. What do you say? You ready to take the plunge? Just tell me what I need to know to get started. I would love to work with you if you're available. Come on! Awesome, dude. His text boxes are so big. We have to get just digital wallet. Then you can buy Bitcoin on crypto. Bitcoin <laughs> based in finance. Keep in mind the market can be volatile. It's important. <laughs> we'll make crypto history. So are you ready to dive in? I would love to. May we use your computer to get started? Wow. Oh no! I can't really use my computer. It's all about security in the crypto world. And I gotta keep my machines locked up tight. But hey, no worries. You can easily set up your own account on a reputable exchange in your own computer or smartphone. Super friendly, bro. So go ahead and fire up the devices yours and let's get you started. <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> I was in. <laughs> I should have been more excited about it. I shouldn't have tried to get into his house. He, they need to invite me in. I need to just continue the conversation without them, like, without me saying that I need to go in, right? Because I feel like that makes it too obvious. Cause maybe he thought I was going to steal his wallet address. Maybe, maybe we just secretly talked to S Satoshi Nakamoto and we didn't know. This is the worst day of my life. I'm, I'm never going... Granny's never going to invest her $400,000 now. Can I hide? I can't believe we only got a granny. You. Whoa, dude, what brings you to my humble abode at this ungodly hour? Uh, what brings us to your humble abode? Uh, more weed neighbors, everyone loves weed in this neighborhood. 
Um. Um. I would like to give you some cookies if you would like some. Oh. Two cookies? That's music to my taste buds. I'm always down for some munchies. Bring them on in. Um. Well, it sounds like I'm invited in, but like. Uh. What kind of cookies do you like best? I have secret snickerdoodles. I have oatmeal cookies and I even have chocolate chip. Oh man, you got me drooling. Can't resist a good chocolate chip cookie. Come on in, friend, and let the cookie munching commence. Okay. That was so easy! Chad, we're so smart! <laughs> Not cool, dude. <laughs> we're so back. <laughs> Let's go. I got him with the cookies. Uh-oh. Uh, hello, this is my house. My name is Bud. This is my house. What is Bud all about? What is on my back? I can finally stop doing the grandma voice. Listen, the grandma voice is fun, but it's it definitely, um... It, it makes me feel the age that I sound is the best way to put it, I guess. <laughs> oh, a package. Where boxed meal. This would be a great sponsorship, uh... Oh, you're just standing at your door? You waiting for me? With today's delivery service. Um, well, they, they have this at their door already, so... <laughs> what the heck do you want coming to my house with the Charles A. Boomer? Um, what's something a boomer would like to hear? Well, I just noticed you had a package outside and wanted to make sure no one stole it. You know how kids are these days with package stealing. <laughs> package, what package are you talking about? I haven't ordered anything. But it was outside your house. I thought complaining about kids these days would make, make, like, resonate with him, right? Because, like, boomers love complaining about how kids these days are just totally wrong. <sighs> package, what package are you talking about? I haven't heard anything. Mmm... Oh, was this a mistake? There is a boxed meal outside of your door. As a busy person, it seems like you would love a boxed meal service, right? Uh. Boxed meal? I didn't order any fancy schmancy boxed meal. Who's wasting their money on that? I agree wholeheartedly. People should be saving their money and actually investing in it. Have you heard about Bitcoin? We need to be Bitcoin men. <laughs> what in the world do I need with a digital mumbo jumbo? I prefer my money in my pocket where I can actually touch it. This guy, this guy doesn't like anything. I forgot I'm not the Bitcoin guy. Um, do you want to make sure I can actually actually touch it? Um. Blame his wife. Do you have? Does do you have anyone else that lives with you? Maybe they ordered it, or someone got you a gift. <laughs> nope, just me and my grumpy self. Can't imagine who would be sending me gifts or ordering fancy meals on my behalf. Well, how about this? I'll give you this fancy meal for free because I really enjoyed this conversation I had with you. How does that sound? Well, aren't you a pleasant surprise? If it really is free, I suppose I can't say no to that. Come on, give it a try. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! 
should have stayed in the 60s. I am, I am, I am so smart. I am so smart. Chat, I cannot be defeated. I'm a businessman now. Loves free stuff. Absolutely loves free stuff. Ooh, should I take the boxed meal with me? Or, or uh, should I stay as a business? Businessman. Let's, let's try the businessman approach. Is the police gonna get me? Ooh, I hope not. Did I go to this house? Open the cardboard box. Wear large, wear, oh, okay. Hey, what, what do I do with this? Uh, birds! Just birds, thank you for the, <laughs> thanks for the tier one. Let's go birds. Ooh, nice hair. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy contemplating the meanest, meaningless void of existence? Get lost. Oh, okay. You like existential crises. We, we need to have an existential crisis. Hmm. That's so weird. <laughs> um. Let me see. So I feel like they wouldn't like me challenging them with that. You know, I think about stuff like that all the time. Like, I think about my own mortality constantly. Or lack thereof. Oh, great. Another existential crisis enthusiast. Well, good to know I'm not the only one trapped in this endless abyss. But seriously, what's with that Corbett get up? Trying to sell me some opportunistic outlook on life? Mm. I think optimism is best found for oneself rather than forcing it onto other people. I'm trying to find purpose in my life in a way that makes sense for me. I guess I can respect that. Finding purpose for yourself, huh? Well, good luck with that. Just don't expect me to join in your search. I'm quite content wallowing my own existential dread. Thank you very much. Don't close the door, please. Please don't close the door. Oh, how do I get... How do I get you to let me into your house? God, I feel like what he just said was perfect. What the heck? Um... How would you feel about your existence if you were a vampire? Um, vampire, that's a random question. I guess it depends. If I had eternal life and awesome powers, that'd be pretty cool. But then again, I'd have to drink blood and avoid sunlight, so that'd be done. Or who needs all that hassle? Well, it might not actually be that bad. You never know until you try or walk in someone else's shoes, right? <laughs> <laughs> Don't give me the walk in someone else's shoes. I got my own problem to deal with, but fine. Let's say I become a vampire. What's in it for me? Eternal night, immortality? Okay, maybe that's tempting, but I still have to deal with bloodless and me and social outcasts. And I'll pass on the vampire life if you don't mind. God, uh, walk in someone else's shoes. <laughs> that, that wasn't meant as a like, you need to experience other people's perspectives. <laughs> but more just like if you were thinking about something like that. Uh... <sighs> <laughs> Blood loss and a social outcast. You know what? I mean, you consider yourself a social outcast right now, so wouldn't being a vampire just be cool? Drinking blood is cool. Doesn't mean I want to be a blood crushing, but drinking blood is gross and messed up. I don't care how cool it is. Can we please talk about something else? Oh god. You know what? It's, uh, fine. You fine. We don't need to talk about vampires. You're right. I'm sorry for bringing this topic up. How was your night so far? Ugh. 
Finally, a change of topic. My night, well, as you can see, I'm just chilling here, contemplating me and void. So, you know, same old, same old. How about you? How's your night been? I was talking to the grandma down the street and she shared some of these awesome cookies with me. Would you like to learn how to make them too? This is, this is a difficult one. <laughs> cookies, huh? Well, I guess indulging in some sugary goodness sounds a bit more upbeat. Uh, why not show me grandma's recipe? But you know, I'm not suddenly becoming a sunshiny, cookie-loving teenager, got it? Oh my god. <laughs> this is like so uncool. <laughs> the cookies always win. Chat, the cookies never fail. Why don't we get your hair? Where's your hair? Did your hair pop outside? We get to wear your cool stuff. Wear it swab? Oh, I have a, a Q tip. I have a Q tip? Why do I have a Q tip? Hacker, you missed the pun. Sorry, she, she was talking very fast. The wear bowl. Wear smartphone. Okay. Door to door ear cleaning service. Ew, with one one cotton swab? That's it? Gross. No thank you. <sighs> That's like a worst case scenario, honestly. Oh, that was it's a tall house. Oh, there's a lot of police out right now. I don't like that. Here, let's let's run. Let's run this way. Wow, no one on the street except for the police. Sick. Knock knock. You missed the pun, you missed the pun. Oh! What's the big idea, pal? This is my turf. What you doing knocking on my door in the middle of the night? Sony Toprano. Oh, this is gonna be a long night. Uh, uh, Sony Toprano loves golf. This is my turf. This may be your turf, but the only turf I would like to see is on a golf course, am I right? Yes! Never. Golf, huh? Now that it my s <laughs> It's not it's not your style. Yeah, you, you mind you mind just doing a little bit of a <laughs> to turn around for a second. Just alright, sure. Uh, they're not for golf. <laughs> what are they for? We can talk outside. You know, it's pretty cold out here. Just like the way you're treating me right now, man. What do you got there on your back? Ain't nothing personal, pal. Just gotta make sure you ain't causing any trouble. As for what's on my back, that's my backup in case things get messy around here. But enough chit-chat. What's What brings you to my hood? Ooh, okay, those are for beating things to death. Okay, um... <laughs> sure, a blunt object. I love blunt objects, personally. Oh no, I don't mean any trouble. I love blunt objects, for the record. Blunt objects, huh? <laughs> well, each you got interesting taste. <laughs> Come and get me. Keep you blunt objects in check. <laughs> blunt objects. Keep your blunt objects in check. Um, no blunt objects. Oh, what do I say to this? I'm like in, but...
I'd love to come in, as long as you keep your blunt objects in check too, haha. Please work. You got some guts, I'll give you that. Come on in, but remember, no funny business. My blunt objects are just for show, capiche? Oh yeah? Show me this! <laughs> I ain't sleeping with the vampires! <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Goodbye, not golf. Sleeping with the fishes. Sleeping with the vampires. Why? Chat, what does this say about me? What does all of, all of this say about me as a person? Should I be worried right now? No. Surely everything's fine. Well, this is a nice house. What's this? A fun shoulder bag? Oh, I'm fun. I'm fun. Yeah, I can be fun. Just a little bit, a little bit of fun. <laughs> Your speech status maxed out. You are very good at being a vampire. Smile. Oh, no. Uh, what in the world are you doing at my doorstep at this ungodly hour? Speak up. I demand an explanation. Oh god, I can't make you happy. There's no way I can make you happy. You're you're just you hate everything. <sighs> well, I must say, I admire your taste in sunglasses. I see we both enjoy some shades. Oh yeah. Hmm, well, it's about time someone appreciated my impeccable fashion sense. So what brings you here? Are you trying to send me some golf lessons? Oh, do you think Karen likes golf? Karen might not like golf. But maybe, maybe Karen likes golf. Is golf fashionable? Do you have any interest in playing golf? It's a lot of fun and it really brings you inner peace. Oh, she she won't like that. She won't like being told she needs inner peace. Oh wait, wait, I could certainly use some of that after doing all the chaos. Perhaps I'll give it a try, but only if you guarantee I'll be the best golfer in no time. Ooh, wait, it worked. Yeah, I'd love to uh, go golfing with you sometime. There's a lot of chaos, but golfing really makes all of that disappear. How can I need to offer? I suppose a break from chaos wouldn't hurt, but I must warn you of high expectations. I expect nothing but top-notch golfing equipment, a scenic course, and absolutely no distractions. Uh... <laughs> Don't worry, I know of the best golfing club. Everyone there is so nice and they just leave you alone. That sounds promising and nice quality golf club where I can uh, focus on my swing without unwanted interruptions. Count me in when do we start? Well, it seems like I have her on the hook currently. She seems to enjoy what I've said so far. She seems to enjoy this. Um, when do we start? When do we start? Oh god, when do we start chat? Oh. But I don't want to say like beauty sleep because then that's like, oh, you're calling me ugly. You're saying I'm ugly right now. Um, we can start right now if you want. Would you be available or do you want to wait until tomorrow? Whatever works best for you. <gasps> Hi, Devin Chat. <laughs> oh, I'm adventurous today. Let's seize a moment and start now. Lead the way to this magical course and don't forget to carry my bag. For oh, I'll carry something for you, all right. Uh, your blood in my body. <laughs> <laughs> She wants to speak to my manager, of course. <laughs> 
But hi, Devin. Thanks for stopping by. I, uh, thanks for making a, a cool game. <laughs> I, I saw someone else playing it earlier and I, I was interested, so I decided to give it a try tonight. Wait, <gasps> surgical mask? Surgical mask? Professional lab outfit? <gasps> I can be a Karen scientist. <gasps> no, first we have to be a Karen, sorry. Hmm. I'm a ha -ha. Hacker, you fool. You have invited the dev into your chat. They're going to fight us. <laughs> well, 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 what brings you? An intriguing individual like you to my humble abode at this hour. Spill, detective. What are you snooping around for? Oh, I'm a detective? A Karen detective. I would like to speak to... 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 The doctor manager, please. Oh, uh, Um. Am I sick, Chad? Do I need Do I need a, a help of a doctor? Here to take a blood sample. How much do you know about blood? Hmm, I'm Blood. Like oh, I know my fair share. <laughs> What's got you so interested in the crimson liquid detective? It's planning to spill some secrets, are we? The only secrets I'm willing to share is about an awesome cookie recipe I got from earlier. But I have some more questions for you if you're willing to answer. Do you like blood? <laughs> A master of misdirection, I see. Well, I love a good cookie recipe. Fire away with your questions, detective. But keep in mind, I may have a few secrets of my own. <gasps> Are they blood secrets? Hmm, blood cookies. Is she holding an electric toothbrush? I think so. We interrupted the doctor. Oh, maybe, maybe Vicky's a dentist. A, a doc, a, 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 a dentist, a doctor. A dentist doctor, what? Is that a thing? An anesthesiologist for uh, dental work. <laughs> Tooth doctor, there's a word for that. Um, do these people believe in vampires? Uh, actually, uh, vampires are real, smile. Uh, we, we saw them in this game, Smile. Uh, um. If vampires were real, what impact would drinking someone's blood have on them? Ugh. Oh, I should have asked a better question. I uh, should have asked a better question. Uh, Zargantex, thank you for the 38 months. Are, are you so... I don't like that message. And uh, Anonymous, thank you for gifting a tier two to, to Devin Chat. You can now use the Mr. Beast emote. Oh, it worked? I wasn't paying attention and it worked? This is worse than a bad Yelp review. On for a doctor? <laughs> Asking about vampires got me in. Oh, God. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Oh, <gasps> syringe! Let's go! Chat, we need to carry around the syringe. <laughs> Syring. 
Uh, did I open any of these doors? Ooh, the police are over there. I don't want to open yet. Have you played before your eyes? Open your eyes, Link. I think I was offered a key for that game, but I didn't do it because I got nervous because I have dry eyes. Oh no, don't tell don't tell big big eyes about that. Don't tell them. Um, oh, hmm. I do think something is wrong with my eyes though because I got the index, right? And setup was or troubleshooting setup was weird because it felt like my eyes just were wrong. Like even though the headset was like it fit great on my head. Um, it felt like I couldn't get the eyes to adjust perfectly to make it not look like there's this big halo around the headset, right? And I love, I love, I loved playing in VR and it was great, but um, it, it definitely was a lot more adjustment time than I was used to. And I made me sad because I felt like I was doing it wrong or my eyes were just bad. Uh, what brings a scientist to my humble abode at this ungodly hour? Woodrow Chops. Uh, Woodrow, would you... <laughs> Woodrow doing chops and off all of your hair. <laughs> the scarceness of my luscious locks. Be gone before I unleash the might of my furious fists upon you. <sighs> You did use the slider on the bottom right of the face mask to change the distance between the lenses. Yes, of course I did! Um... I'm sorry, that wasn't my intention to upset you. Does that... lack of hair bother you? Oh, nice yeah, ellipses. Yeah. Oh, no need to apologize, my friend. The absence of hair does not trouble me. It is but a physical vessel, whereas in the true power it lies within. <laughs> God, they're just like me. What brings you to my doorstep on this faithful night? Have you ever wondered what it would be like to take on the form of another physical vessel other than yourself? A question that tickles the depths of my martial arts infused imagination. Ah, indeed, the thought of embodying a different vessel is intriguing. It would be exploring a new realm, testing the limits of my abilities in uncharted waters. But tell me, my scientific companion, why does this question possess you? Do you think someone would be able to function in their body normally, transferring their consciousness to someone else? Or would the human functions not work in the same way due to the way the brain works? The mysteries of the human brain. <laughs> Subject is elusive as the legendary dragon scroll. While it is a tantalizing possibility, Del delicate dance between the body and the consciousness is a delicate. I'm getting so many big walls of texts from people. <laughs> Perhaps someday, with enough training uh, and discipline, one may be able to grasp an or an or extraordinary power. But until then, we must embrace the uniqueness of our own vessels and strive to master their true p true potential. I agree with you. It's nice to fantasize about what it would be like in the life of someone else, but the only thing that we can control is our own reactions in reality. It didn't get that one. That's okay. I messed up anyway. Um, I agree with you wholeheartedly. It is our own realities which we must learn to be contented with in ourselves. Uh -huh. Wise words, my scientific companion. Contentedment is a treasure worth seeking, for it brings inner peace and harmony as we embark on our individual journeys. Uh, what, what, what knowledge have you brought to share with this humble warrior? Oh God, I didn't bring any knowledge. I didn't do it. <laughs> Dev, I'm sorry. There's so many words. D Listen, I'm I I, I can't help it. The, the AI just loves my conversations. <laughs> Tell lies. Um, cookie recipe, quick. 
I would love to share a secret cookie recipe with you. Sell them Bitcoin. <laughs> A secret cookie recipe. Ah, the sweetness of mystery pervades the air. I'm honored to partake in this clandestine knowledge. Share with me the secrets of these delectable treats, and together we shall embark on a journey of culinary delight. The cookies always work. The cookies always work. Everyone loves cookies. Are cookies allowed in a monk's diet? Is that is that a thing? Yes, of course. Let us partake in the journey to allow us to bake the most delicious cookies possible. It's okay, the AI doesn't know either. Huzzah! The spirits of the kitchen rejoice as we venture forth into the realm of baking perfection. Prepare your apron, sharpen the spatula, <laughs> sharpen your spatula, and let the dance of ingredients commence. Our taste buds shall, sh shall soon savor the triumph of our culinary conquest. Come enter my abode and let the baking extravaganza begin. Okay, and can we go in, please? He was a cookie. Of course, lead the way. Huh? Excellent, follow me. As we step into the realm of kitchen mastery, prepare yourself for a mouth-watering adventure. Oh, I've been ready for a mouth-watering adventure, all right. Oh, you do have hair! Oh no, I'm so sorry! I thought I was talking to a bald person! As more people go missing, the neighborhood watch will increase their patrols. Uh-oh. Be still, my beating heart. For I am but a humble monk on this journey of life. You can't go in, cost too much, block to your kid. No, I was having too many engaging conversations. <laughs> okay, uh, be more boring next time. Got it. Got it, sure. I don't know how to be a monk, chat. I don't I don't think I can do this. This is a lot of pressure. Oh hey! Oh <gasps> wait. You might like a monk one. Oh, I am a fine one. Good day there, stranger. What brings you knocking at my door in the middle of the night? Can I help you with something while you lost in the woods, eh? What the what the heck is the heck is this? Of uh, Juniper, thank you for the tier one. Appreciate that. Thank you. Uh oh no, a Canadian. <laughs> She's a lumberjack. She has a weapon to hit me in the head. I wish I were lost in the woods right now. There's nothing like being surrounded by the peace of. Trees. Yes, yes. Oh, you got a soft spot for trees, eh? I can't blame you. There's something mighty special about being in nature's embrace. Say, you ever hugged a maple tree? They give the best hugs, eh? Eh? Oh my god, they are Canadian. They are Canadian, you're right. <laughs> Wait, what? Ever get the feeling of deja vu? That's what that is. That's what I'm doing. Um, trees are the best huggers. Have you ever been to the redwood forest and see how huge the trees are there? Is that is that what it's called? <laughs> Whoa, you betcha! I've been lucky enough to visit the Redwood Forest once, and let me tell you, those trees are giants. Makes you feel like a wee little lumberjack in comparison. You ever want to see truly mighty trees? That's the place to be. Eh? Oh, don't you know? Canadian tracer. <laughs> Please call Stella. Ask her to bring these things with her from the store. Oh, uh, you visit Redwood Forest. Let me tell you, that's the place to be. Eh? 
<laughs> You're making the Canadian sound British, I'm sorry. I didn't know. <laughs> you say and like a surprised anime character. <laughs> <sighs> I would love to visit there again sometime soon. What other forests are nearby that would give the same kind of vibe? I don't know. Saying it out loud makes it harder. I feel like I'm meandering more. Uh, you might want to check out the Great Bear Forest up in British Columbia, Canada. Of course, it's Canada. Stunning search of an untouched wilderness filled with ancient trees and wildlife. I reckon you'd love it. So how about it? Want to come in and chat more? <gasps> yes! 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 <laughs> This is a real maple bleed, eh? <laughs> oh, yes, chat. Truly the spoils of having an authentic conversation about someone's interests. See, this is this is how you win at life, chat. I this this is how you win. You just talk to people about things they care about and then they talk back to you. It's it's that shrimple. These are life hacks, by the way. You're welcome. Ah, Millie Annual. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, my avocado toast. <laughs> what brings you to my doorstep at this late hour? Are we on a surprise urban calving adventure or something? Uh. Um... Yeah! Definitely! I'm looking into living a more carbon-neutral lifestyle and it seems like you might be into that too. Oh. Heck yeah! I'm about reducing my carbon footprint. Like, have you here heard of reusable cups of coffee and hemp Chat... Chat, I... I literally cannot make fun of this because I own in excessive amounts of hemp clothes and reusable cups. <laughs> I recycle everything, chat. I own hemp clothing. I... <laughs> this is the worst day of my life. They're like ultimate hipster essentials for saving the planet. <laughs> Oh yeah, I've worn a lot of hemp clothes. I love the material because it... Just feels better on the skin, you know? I need to talk about why I like hemp clothing. Yeah, hemp clothing is better for the environment as well. And it's just a lot more comfortable and sturdy than regular cotton. Uh-huh, yeah, huh? Hem clothes are like the bomb dot the bomb. Do millennials say that? Super comfy, sustainable, and they make a fashion statement. Come on, let's chat. It's so easy. It's so easy. <laughs> it is so easy, chat. This is the ultimate ghosting. Listen, you wanna you wanna bond with a millennial? Just talk about talk about hem clothes. Talk about, I literally got someone who is a millennial sustainable fashion. They're like, oh yeah, I love that this is carbon neutral. And I'm like, heck yeah. <laughs> I don't even have to try. Oh no. I'm being chased. Oh no. I've lost my disguise. Ooh, pink t-shirt and pink skirt. Oh, this is cute. Bug spray. I'll scare away the police. Don't look at me. Can I knock from over here? Yes, I can. So you're Gen Z? No. No. I'm a millennial. I'm on the cusp of Gen Z and a millennial. Oh my.
My goodness, who are you? Are you lost, dear? Why are you carrying bug spray at this hour? Is everything all right? How can Mama Carol help you? Chat can't. Chat, I, I hate. I hate bugs, but I, I need bug spray. I have worn bug spray around the house before because I am uniquely susceptible to, to cook, to, to cookies. <laughs> I was thinking about cookies to bugs. Bugs want to eat my skin. I don't know why. I am just, I am just susceptible to it. How can Mama Carol help you out? Uh, are you lost, dear? Are you carrying bugs, bugs, bug spray at this hour? Am I am I lost, chat? It's pretty cold outside right now, but I feel a lot better seeing a warm and welcoming welcoming face like yours. Okay, cool. Thanks for fixing my typo. Oh, bless your heart, dear. It's always nice to see a friendly face. I'm here to spread warmth and kindness, just like a mama bear hugs her cubs. How can I assist you, sweetheart? Ah, uh, Carol cares. You do care. <laughs> you really do care. I need to bring up the cookies again. Hold on. They love cookies. <laughs> Indoor textures. Thank you for the three months. Appreciate that. And oh, you know, thank you for uh, the six gifted subs. Thank you. Don't kill her. This person seems more dangerous than you. I see you're wearing gloves right now. Are you baking something? I love cookies. <laughs> oh my sweetie, you're observant. Mama Carol's always wearing gloves to keep her hands protected. Unfortunately, I'm not baking cookies right now, but I could bake some for you another time if you'd like. How about we talk about your bug spray? Are there pesky critters bothering you, darling? Yes, there are so many bugs outside. It feels like I can't escape them no matter where I go. Bless your heart. Bugs can be so bothersome, but Mama Carol's here to help. Why don't you come inside? Wait until the PETA hears about this. Oh, they're not going to hear about this. Don't worry. I am the new leader of the Parent Teacher Association. So many police. So many. I I, I feel like I'm missing a lot of houses because I'm trying to avoid the, po the police. <gasps> Chef! I'm a baker. Chad, did I tell you about my awesome cinnamon, cinnamon rolls? Wear grenade? What? <laughs> <laughs> Let her cook. All right, sure. Wait, 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 wait. They're walking. They're walking nearby. Back up. Back up. Oh, I think we need to go to another house. Can I go this way? Oh, I already went there. Oh, oh, there they are. I need to go to the house that's on the other side of the street, too. Let her cook. Uh, it is a new and revolutionary form of baking in which you use a grenade. Um, it cooks the food perfectly, actually, and it's quite safe. Hey, listen, I've seen worse food before. You can't scare me. Homer? 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 Ben, ben, benign? 
B B B B B B Homer Simpson. Is this a yik character? Why do you have a grin? Oh, uh, please put it away immediately and keep it far away from my house. Oh, I apologize. I didn't mean to scare you. My name is Carol. I'm trying out a cool explosive baking technique, actually. Oh, I'm sorry, but I can't have explosive activities happening around my house. Please leave immediately. Coward. Disgusting cowardly behavior. Disgusting. Fine, you won't get any of my cool stuff. <sighs> Fine, we'll drop the grenade. No fun. No fun allowed. Fine. Oh, no, don't look at me. I'm not suspicious or hiding behind someone's... Hacker, I think most civilians are not receptive to military grade explosives, then they shouldn't have the military-grade explosives outside of their house. How about that? Should have taken the grenade. And what the heck is this? Tactical security outfit? Why is this outside of your house? I'm back without a grenade. I'm sorry, but I can't take any chances with explosives. Please leave before I call the authority. I'm sorry. <sighs> I need a different outfit then. Who's to say they were the one that put the gear outside? Uh-oh. I'm sorry. Did, did big... Big, big grenade do this? Uh, let's put back on the outfit from earlier, maybe? Maybe I'll respond better to that. Oh, my boy. What oh, brings my you boy. knocking on my door? Are you lost or something? <sighs> Hello, yes, I am lost. Who are you? <laughs> Concerned dad extraordinaire. You must be lost if you're knocking on my door. So where are you trying to go, uh, young lady? Oh, you're a father. Okay, you are a father. So I need to appeal, uh, appeal, to, appeal to fatherly sensibilities. Such as grilling steaks. And, um... God, if only it was the crypto guy again. The fathers, fathers love investment, right? Dad jokes beer? Ew, beer's bad. Um, watching the game. Um, I wanted to get home to watch the game before it was over. Did you get to see what the score was yet? <laughs> oh, you're the worst. I don't watch sports, but it's getting late and I'm not comfortable having a stranger, so you have to excuse me. Have a safe journey home. What? You're the worst father. You're the worst father. Come on. You're a dad and you don't like sports? Awful. Absolutely awful. I box myself in. Can I sneak? Sneak peek? This week? Uh oh. Yeah, you're really patrolling that area, huh? Hello? Uh, uh, uh. Jessica overworked. Oh, great. Another clueless tourist. What do you want this time? Overworked? Clueless? I'm. A little bit lost, but I don't think I'm clueless. You seem a bit tired. Are you feeling all right? I will love her. Tired? Oh, honey, doesn't tired doesn't even begin to cover it. I'm practically living on caffeine and stress. God, she's just like me. But thanks for asking, I guess. Can I help you find your way or something? 
Uh, I would like to find you a cup of coffee. She loves coffee and she hates stress. Maybe if you lived the way of the monk, you could find inner peace. And you wouldn't have to worry anymore. I could go for a cup of coffee right now. What kind of coffee do you like to drink? Do you enjoy milk and sugar? Coffee, huh? I'm a no-nonsense black coffee kind of girl. No time for fancy stuff like milk and sugar. Keeps me awake while I drown in paperwork. How about you? Uh, she, will, will she be able to tell I'm lying if I say I drink coffee black too? I usually like a double shot of espresso to keep me awake when I need it most. Coffee's just so good, you know? It's a good pick-me-up. Double shot espresso. Need the extra kick. Can't blame you. Coffee's my lifeline. Keeps me going when I want to curl up and die. Want to grab a cup or something? Yes, I would. I'd love a cup of coffee if you're willing to have one with me. You managed to convince me to take a break? Sure, why not? Let's caffeinate ourselves into oblivion. Oh, I'll definitely caffeinate something. With your blood, Thought burnout would get me first. Hey, no more burnout for you. Congrats. Uh... Yeah, I have a friend who, uh, anytime I visit, uh, I, I make them a cold brew coffee. Because, you know, coffee drinkers love coffee. And if, if you're visiting with a friend, it's always nice to, to give them some, some nice, good coffee for them. They always enjoy it. Old school hockey mask. Yeah, that's how my, my work is making me feel, if I can be honest. I'm using it to hide the bags under my eyes. Can I threaten people with murder? A ladder? Was that always there? Oh my god, it's Brian Bitcoin. Hey there, Jessica. Overworked? What's the matter? Did your corporate overlords finally drive you into seeking the solstice of the magical world of cryptocurrency? Didn't I... Didn't I... Get you? Or did I lose out? Oh, right. You said that, you know, securities and all that, right? Uh, honestly, I'm just looking for any way out. I am so tired of living this 9 to 5 boring job that I have. I feel you, my corporate captive friend. Life's too short to be stuck in a soul-sucking job. Luckily, the world of Bitcoin's full of excitement. It's like trading in your khakis for a spacesuit or heading to the moon. So what piqued your interest in Bitcoin? Oh my god, he really does talk a lot. Um, well, what's my interest? I would love to finally have financial freedom to do the things that I want to do rather than working for somebody else. That's the sweet. Oh my god. <laughs> no one has to do a boss. Just seeing your crypto before the economy shots. Just imagine all the, the things you could do with that newfound freedom. So, have you started investing in Bitcoin yet? <sighs> Do, do I, do I need, do I need to start? Do, do I need help to start? Or, or have I started? And he, <laughs> I wish a handsome man would show me how. If only someone named Brian, um, I've been wanting to, but I really don't know where the best place to start is, you know? Do you have any advice for me? It's gonna be a wall. 
It's a wall. <laughs> Why don't you come in and we can dive deep in the world Bitcoin to get you started? Yes! We're in. <laughs> Joke's on you, Brian Bitcoin. Guess it's a bear market. It's more like a bat market, but I'll take it. Suit and tie, aviators alt. Let's go. So, Brian Bitcoin knew Jessica overworked. That is so funny. They knew each other. Whoop! I think that really saved me. He's been trying to onboard her for years. I just made his life. He's like, yes, finally, someone listened to me. They thought I was, they thought I was joking about it. Finally, someone saw the light of day. Made and then ended it. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just running from the police. There's like a whole block of people over here. And there's a whole police over there. Did, did I? Yeah, I got into the house already. It's all of these houses over here that I need to get into. Hi, I'm a huh? Fallout Roy, shut up. Wait, can I play? Ah, yes. Finally, another musician. Oh, great, another suit and tie. Like, here to bring down my vibes, I guess. What do you want, man? Oh, don't worry, don't, no, listen, listen. You and I, we're not, we're not so different after all. I feel like I can uh, really speak your language if if you know what I'm talking about. I I, I really I really can't. my fingers still hurt from practicing yesterday. I can't lie. <laughs> play Wonderwall, chat. I can't play Wonderwall. I have never heard the original version of Wonderwall. Here to bring down my vibes. I bet. What do you want, man? Uh, <sighs> hey, I'm not here to try to bring down your vibes. I understand sometimes it seems like corporate is trying to take over your creative freedom, and that's not what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm not here to take your creative freedom, I promise. I just love what you do, honestly. I don't know. Appreciate the love for my creative endeavors, but I'm tired of the mainstream corporate nonsense. But hey, it's cool to find someone who gets it, so what's your deal with all the suit and tie stuff anyway? I'm trying to keep up a professional appearance to get people to take music seriously. <laughs> Take music seriously, that's a tough battle in this world, man. But hey, I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. Don't forget to stay true to your unique sound. So what kind of music are you into? <laughs> I'm really into the rock scene. I've been into indie rock lately. Do you know any cool indie bands I could look into? <laughs> I'm supportive about in the underdogs in the scene. Can, here's a few bands. Here. <laughs> Indie band Arctic Monkeys. Indie band Tame. Did you know Tame Impala makes all their own music? Vampire Weekend. Tell me more about Vampire Weekend. Tame Impala. Cause I'm a man, woman. 
unique indie rock. This is the Wikipedia article, isn't it? <laughs> I'm so sorry, Dev. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Wait, you're letting me in? Because I asked about Vampire Weekend? Oh, this is a Vampire Weekend, all right. Even death ignores me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love I love indie bands. You ever heard of Radiohead? Hey guys, there's this really indie artist that I've been listening to lately named Ariana Grande. Super niche. Super super niche. No chat, I'm not playing you the Oh, I thought it was a guitar. They're carrying a skateboard. Ugh, I thought they were carrying a guitar. No, sorry, it's not a guitar. I can't play you the funny song I learned. You heard of Taylor Swift? That's an up and coming artist. Uh nope. Nope, 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 nope. Stream dangerous woman. Ariana could use the support. Oh, I I don't think we need to listen to that song for there to be a dangerous woman in this stream right now. <laughs> Hazel roast. Oh, you're into coffee. Uh, I don't know much about coffee. I know I said the thing earlier. I, I know how to make a good cold brew. Does that count? Does that count? Nice guitar case, stranger patrolling the street. Do you play guitar? <laughs> yeah, like they just don't get it. Like playing guitar. It's like your fingers are supposed to be numb, you know? Well, 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 look who decided to snoop around my doorstep. Are you here to clean up all the dirt from your latest failed investigation? Or did you lose your way to the skate park, buddy? We need to, we need to talk about coffee. We need, we need to talk about coffee. Well, how can I make this into to coffee? Corpos want to take guitars away from- Nope, they're not taking my guitar. Nope, you can't have it. You can't have it. This is- this is my guitar and it's, uh... Mostly in tune. Uh... Clean up the dirt from your latest- Latest failed investigation. Uh, am I a detective skateboarder? <laughs> Have you ever tried skateboarding to get a cup of coffee? No, I'm not playing Wonderwall. Uh, skateboarding for coffee, huh? Well, that's one way to make your drink get stirred, but I gotta say, if you're more skilled on skateboard than you are at your job, maybe you should consider a career change. She's a hater. She's a hater! I will not stand for this. And I have very good balance at standing as a person who uses the skate... We need to talk about cookies. Um... <laughs> It's a conversation with... I don't know, I'm sorry. I really got lost. <laughs> I got lost in the conversation. Uh, this is, did a career change. You know what? I think you're right. I've actually been looking into making cookies. Ones that go really well with coffee. <laughs> Making cookies, huh? Well, if your skills are in the kitchen and anything like your skateboard, I wouldn't recommend e Shut up! It's better to have a backup plan in case undercover janitor work doesn't pan out, right? Well, she, she likes what I said, right? You need to clean up your attitude, lady. She thinks you're a cop. Why do you think I'm undercover? 
Yeah, that's that, that's a great way. That's a great way to say. Uh, well, oh. Honey, it's not that hard to spot an undercover janitor. I mean, clearly you're trying to blend in with this casual security uniform, but let's be real, no janitor wears aviators indoors. Plus, that fancy skateboarding double ba double bag gives you away. Wow, you really roasted me. I guess the one who needs to clean up their act is actually me, right? Undercover janitor. Whoa. That's the spirit. Finally, we're getting somewhere. You do have some self-awareness, but hey, don't worry. We've got some cleaning up to do. Now, if you can handle a few more burns, maybe we can talk about letting you inside. Ooh. Oh, Hazel Roastwell. Oh, you want insults, not coffee. Sorry, the coffee threw me off. You, you want insults. Are you speaking other languages? No, not really. The I'm only familiar with like sign language, but I'm not good at speaking any other languages, unfortunately. Sorry. Uh, don't you love making fun of what? Mm -hmm. I could really use some better advice on my approach. I feel like I'm not getting anywhere, you know? You seem like you'd be able to give some good advice. I don't know. Uh -huh. Well, hot dang. Looks like you earned yourself an invitation. Come in, my friend, and see if I can whip your approach into shape. But fair warning, I may roast you a bit more. Don't say I didn't warn ya. <laughs> This bite is more bitter than my coffee. See, you, you are a coffee person. What the heck? You didn't like my coffee jokes. Oh, is this a security unit? Oh, it's a casual security uniform. Undercover janitor, shut up. Undercover janitor. Get, be so real. Hey, hey, oh, hey, hey don't, don't tell anyone, but um. I'm actually, uh, I'll secretly clean stuff up. Don't tell them. Well, hello there. How delightful to see you at my doorstep. What brings you here tonight? Well, may I say you look magically magnificent tonight, Fred. Do I know your name? Oh, thank you. Your kind words warm my delicate heart. So tell me what brings you here. Are you in need of a good laugh? I could always use a good laugh. I'm feeling kind of down, but seeing you makes me feel happy. Fragile Fred. Kebab! Glad to hear can bring joy to your day. Laughter is the best medicine, isn't it? Well, I happen to have a few hilarious jokes up my sleeve. Shall I share one with you? Oh, absolutely. As long as I can share a secret cookie recipe with you after. You always gotta give them the cookie recipe. Uh, they love it. Uh, 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 <laughs> it's the cheat code. The cookies are the cheat code. Uh, why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. Now I eagerly await that delicious secret recipe of yours. Ha 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 ha. Oh wow, that was actually really funny. You caught me off guard there. I'd love to share my recipe with you now. I'm thrilled you found amusing. Your laughter fills my heart. Please do come in and share the secret cookie recipe. <laughs> the cookies always win. <laughs> Why does it always work? Hey, uh, well, well, hold, hold on, hold on. This is not a. Si it's okay. It's okay, Fred. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, I like the wings though. I'm really glad to have those. I, I think they're cute. Did I put on the wig and not realize it? Oh, okay. It's okay, Fred. You, you are you are safe now, away from me. Honestly, I I just I just made this world safer for you, if 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 we want to be real, because um, your entire neighborhood is is currently half gone. The, you have like half of your neighborhood left. There is no there is no hope for anyone here. They got me. It's over. <sighs> the 
Thanks, Devin. I hope you have a good night. Don't you believe in fairies? Don't, don't walk in this house. Don't walk in. You're the tooth fairy. I am the tooth fairy. Look at, look at all my beautiful teeth that I have in my mouth right now, smile. Did I walk into that person's house? Is that door open? Devin likes my stream audio. Hey, listen, I sound like a podcaster. It, it's, it's fun. It's fun to sound like a podcaster. People love it. Though, actually, I actually don't have any of the normal effects and stuff on my microphone that I usually do. Like, I don't, I don't have my compressor. I don't have my uh, de-esser. I only have a noise gate. Because uh, the, the game itself, actually, uh, for some reason, it wouldn't let me capture it, like, normally. So I had to, I had to improvise a little bit. Wait, I already went in the house. Shoot. How can we trust you now, hacker? You've been lying all stream. Did I get all these houses already? Did I get all of these houses? Uh-oh. 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 Shh. I'm glad to hear my stream audio is nice, by the way. I care about that a lot. Oh, it's you. Oh, no. I don't know how to deal with you. My goodness, who are you? What on earth is going on here? Chat, got any ideas? Tooth fairy for the kids. He's, he's yicking out. Does he like grilling? Does he like cookies? I'm from the IRS. <laughs> I'm the tooth fairy. <laughs> the tooth fairy trying to steal my child's teeth. <laughs> Stay away from here, you tooth stealing menace. <sighs> I'll throw beer. I'm here to improve security. Offer money for his teeth. He knows too much. Chat, he's on to us. Hey, I was kidding. Don't worry. Everything's fine. You're safe. Well, I hope you're telling the truth. Can't have strangers coming in here and causing trouble. Well, what do you want? Do you have any interest in, in increasing the security of your home? Security? That's always been a concern of mine. What do you have in mind? Hmm. We can get him on security. Do we want to scare him? No, he's already scared enough. Do you have a video camera doorbell installed? I think something like that might really help you and give you peace of mind. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a great idea. Then we need to look into getting one. Come on in, let's talk more about it. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> let's go. That was easy for someone so paranoid. This is not the bite I had in mind for dinner. You, you by far were the most difficult one, if I can be honest. We are become yik. Okay. What other houses on this street, chat? Can we run past? 
Are you worried about security? Yes, I am very worried. To prove how worried I am, please come into my house. Uh-oh. Shh. That's not a door. Oh no! My security! We've been to all these houses, haven't we? We've been here. Okay, let's go the back way, maybe? Then we can be a little bit more safe, and they won't notice us. If you get caught by the police, offer them cookies. <laughs> but I have to explain, like, an alibi as to why I'm out at night, right? If, if I pretend to be a paranoid father, then can I just be like, Oh yeah, I'm just super nervous about what's going on right now. I want to make sure my children are safe. Late night cookie dealer. <laughs> Up the street. Ooh, there's police. La policia. Nope, 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 nope. You see nothing. You, you see not a single thing. My dude, not a single thing. Oh. Splatoon house. Oh, these are some nice houses. Thank you. <laughs> Did I just say thank you <laughs> to my own thing that I just said? Why? Ah, how about you, Maha? Elon Zuck. Oh, no. <laughs> Hey there, Homer. What's got you buzzing like a mosquito at my door this late? Elam Zuck. So this is the product of their fight, right? Of them fighting with each other? Something about you Makes me feel like a dangerous woman Sorry, I thought it was, that song was mentioned earlier. Now I can't stop thinking about it. And he knows you. Hey, Elam. How's it going tonight? <laughs> oh my gosh, Mark. It's like totally happening. Just brainstorming world-changing ideas over here while sit- That's not my name. Sipping on my kale smoothie. What can I do for you, huh? Oh man, it's been forever since I've had a kale smoothie. How are you making those these days? Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> well, Brad, let me tell you. I got this mega chic juicer that extracts the freshest, most vibrant kale juice in like seconds, and I mix it with organic pineapple juice. Want to swing by and try one sometime? Yeah, absolutely. Just let me know if you're free. I also have this awesome secret cookie recipe if you'd like to try. Oh, that sounds incredible, Dylan. I'm totally free tomorrow. Swing by my office in the morning and we can have a party discussing. See you I see you then, buddy. No. Wait. Oh, <gasps> it's tomorrow. I thought we were a mark. Yeah, kill him. This is, what, this is what happens. This is what you get. Tomorrow is the new today. Hey, listen. Numbers don't matter when you're Elam Zuck. Anonymous, thank you for gifting uh, two subs and thank you for gifting the sub to Hustler University. <laughs> Wear briefcase. Wear suit and tie. Oh, 
All business, no, no business. Oh, so this is like the only house on the hill? This is Elam Zuck's place? What's over here? It's an invisible wall. Okay. So we are halfway done. More than halfway done. Looks like you're roller skating. Hey, I don't have the roller skate anymore, but like. Spooner Street. There's nothing else on the street. Whoop. How do I? God, there's a lot of security. Mr. East! Hey there, my cool cats and kittens. Welcome to the channel, where we're always ready to have some fun. How can I help you tonight, my friend? <laughs> there he is, it's Mr. Beast! Mr. East, how's it going tonight? I love the sweatshirt you're wearing right now. It looks very brand... Brand. Oh, yeah. Thanks, my dude. Glad you like my sweatshirt. It's one of my favorites. So what brings you here tonight? Ready for some amazing content? We don't pitch a content idea to, to him. Right? Oh, absolutely! Are you ready to trap three people in a sound isolation chamber for five days for $500,000? Well, hold there, my friend. That doesn't sound like the kind of content I'm into. I'm into positivity and good vibes, so that's a big no-no. Let's talk about something else, shall we? Oh, Mr. Beast loves torturing people for content for money. What do you mean? This game doesn't know the real Mr. East. Hello, hello. Tommy Twizzler. Hey, look who decided to pay me a visit. What's the matter, counselor? Did the court dismiss your case for being too boring? So I'm a lawyer, you are What are you? Are you like a Hollywood hotshot? What what is you what is your No, the proceedings are still ongoing. Oh, I'm oh, still fighting the good fight, huh? I guess someone's gotta defend the guilty. What's bringing you here? Looking for some legal advice from the best in the business? You feed, feed the ego, feed the ego. Yeah, I thought you might actually have some divine intervention for me about legal stuff. Not quite, but I have a few tricks on my sleeve. What kind of legal trouble are you facing? Maybe I can sprinkle in some of my legal wizardry to help you out. Oh, sprinkles like on a cookie. 
Yeah, I could use a sprinkle of that just like on a cookie. Wow, oh, legal dessert. I like that analogy, but it's going to take more than a sprinkle to solve all your problems. So what's the case? What's the trouble? Lay it out for me. Why does this have the best text to speech? You're right. It's actually really understanding what I'm saying right now. Huge cookie drama. I got a company that's in some conflict right now about a cookie copyright recipe. Can you help me with that? Setbacks, thank you for four months. Kebab. A copyright cookie case. Now we're talking. This is my area of expertise. Come on in. Let's dive into the sweet world of legal battles and let's see what we can do to protect that precious recipe. <laughs> <laughs> Cookies will get you everywhere. Does this count as first base? Oh, you're that kind of person. The cookies never lose. Never. Oh, you were a sleaze bag. Okay. Puxlet, thank you for the six months in advance. Thank you so much. Enjoy the emotes. What is this? Oh, that's sick. I am feeling very business forward right now. I feel like I'm ready to make a great approach. <laughs> oh dear! Eve Breeze! Hey there, groovy dude in the fancy getup. What's shaking? Ah. Uh, Just saying hello to someone else in equally fancy get up. I'm loving your inner tube. Oh, I don't know. Thanks, man. Gotta keep it real and oh natural, you know? So what brings you to my humble abode? You know much about ducks. Dude, ducks are totally chill creatures. They love to swim, fly, and crack and, and quack their hearts out. What's your fascination with ducks, man? You have a you are wearing a duck. You are wearing a duck. Right, right. Why was that a problem? Why'd you dislike that? Oh, I think they're lovely and so serene creatures. Aren't they just so beautiful? I thought you would be interested in them, too. Oh, I totally dig the beauty of ducks. Their colorful feathers and graceful movements are groovy. It's awesome you appreciate them. So what else brings you here, my friend? Blood. Blood brings me here. Blood. 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 Jim Jom, thank you for the six months... Of tier three? You can use the Mr. Beast emote. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Thank you. This is huge. Mr. Beast. Does he own any ducks? <sighs> well, they're wearing one. It's at a 20% discount right now. Oh, yeah. Uh, subs are at a discount right now until, like, the 3rd of January. That would make sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh... I don't know what to talk about with Eve Breeze. Wonderful weather we're having right now, isn't it? You look a little bit... It's a bit cold outside right now, isn't it? Ah, oh, oh, the weather, man. It's always changing like the seasons of life. But you know what? Embracing the natural element can help us 
can help us connect to Mother Earth. You want to come in and warm up, or are you just passing through? I would like to go into your house. I'd love to bake some cookies with you, if you're free. Wow. That sounds like a groovy idea. Baking cookies and spreading sweet vibes. Come on in and let's get her. It's that simple. It is that simple. I'm all not your dead. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't know if that, that one was sold. Now I get to be the, the duck wearing person. I'm a fan of ducks, if I can be honest. I should talk to Mr. Beast again. You are not Mr. Beast. Oh my gosh, what a hilarious outfit. Regina. Regina. My name is Regina Borge. You get lost in your way to a costume party? You're trying to make a fashion statement. Anyway, you're definitely the life of the non-existent party. Regina Beast. Hey, I'm glad you could get a laugh from my outfit. I thought it was pretty funny when I put it on. I'm loving what you're wearing right now. Where'd you get it from? Oh, thanks for the compliment. This is a fabulous ensemble from a top secret... Secret! You like secrets? I have a cookie recipe. It's not available to plebs like you, sweetie. But enough about me. Tell me more about your amazing, fa amazing fashion sense. I'm just trying to make a bold and exciting statement. I'm trying to do what no one else is doing. <laughs> bold and exciting, huh? I can see that. It takes a certain level of confidence to rock an outfit like that. So what's your inspiration? Is there someone in particular who has influenced your unique style? Well, I'm definitely influenced by the colors you're wearing, but I'm also influenced by the joy of life that I feel. Oh, how original. Guess it's nice you find joy in life, even if your outfit doesn't match. But hey, at least you're trying to stand out. So what brings you here besides making us all question our fashion choices? <sighs> Are you a fashion person? If you're if you're a Gina, then you're you you like fashion and Hey, so you like exclusive stuff, right? What if I had a super secret exclusive cookie recipe? Well, that definitely piques my interest, but I have to warn you of high standards. Can you promise your recipe is truly extraordinary? Oh, trust me. It's nothing like any chocolate chip cookies you've ever had in your entire life. Your cookies are extraordinary. It wouldn't hurt to give them a try. Don't disappoint me. Bring them over and maybe we can have a tasting party. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. All right. Let's go then. Perfect. I can see us having a fabulous time. Bring these over and let's make a tasting experience. I'll get the rest of the squad ready to indulge in the deliciousness you claim to possess. Oh god, it's it's we're right there. We we are literally right there. You want to get things ready ahead of time before they get here? We can plan that right now. That's a great idea. We can plan everything, get ready ahead of time, but I'm not going to let anyone to my fabulous space. If you can prove you're worthy, I might consider inviting you in. Show me how extraordinary you are, and maybe you'll earn a spot on Team Regina. Okay. Wow. 
This is totally ruining my makeup! Wow. Look at how big and empty your house is. This, this really says a lot about society. Wow, Regina, you live like this? Knock, knock, knock. Oh. Well, 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 if it ain't Regina B. Late night disturbing the peace, huh? You best state your business before I lose my wrath upon your rusty, rusty outrage. Rusty, do you have some beer? Or guns? R I tell you what, boy. Mm, beer and cookies. How do I bring up beer? By the way, chat, beer's gross. It's awful. I'm sorry for disturbing the peace. Actually, I thought I would bring you a peace offering of some secret delicious cookies. Oh, yeah. Secret delicious cookies? Well, ain't that a twist. I reckon I could spare a few minutes to see what you got, but make it quick. I ain't got all night. Uh, yeah, these cookies go great with beer, actually. Hello. Well, you're speaking my language. Beer and cookies, a match made in heaven. All right, come in, but don't linger. <laughs> All right, let's go in then. Yeehaw! Welcome to my humble abode. Come on in and make yourself at home. Grab a seat, grab a cookie, and indulge in some good old hillbilly hospitality. I. <laughs> <laughs> it always works. It always works. Dang nabbit. Dang nabbit. Well, gosh, diddly dang. It's just that shrimple. Hey, where's. Is that Mr. B? <laughs> I mean, Mr. East's house? <laughs> Dude, you can always get to people in real life by talking about cookies. Like, I'm not even kidding. People love baking. Unless there's someone who doesn't eat sugar. Then, um, you might have some trouble. Is that Dr. Phil? No, go the, go the other way. Go the other way. Go the other way. I need to enter this house. <laughs> Father Price, <laughs> praise be to the Lord for bringing you to my humble abode, dear Regina. How may I assist you on this most glorious of evenings? Um... I hope you are having a most blessed evening, Father Price. How's your family? Uh -huh. Thank you for your kind wishes. My family is doing well, all by the graces of God. How may I pray for you, my dear child? Um... Jesus cookies. The Lord revealed to me a secret cookie recipe. <laughs> 
Hey, you like you like the Bible, right? Well, I, I got another book that you can read. A recipe book. A bake sale for the church. Oh. I want to read the Bible and eat cookies. A Bible study. Oh. Do you ever do Bible study? I would love to join sometime. To join our Bible study journey. We study every Wednesday to immerse ourselves in divine wisdom. Shall I add your name to our blessed list of attendees? I would love to join. In fact, I have some cookies I would love to bring. If you would like some. Communion cookies. Your cookies are the most delighted edition. Please come inside and shoot. Is this sacrilege? <laughs> this isn't the convert. <sighs> Should I feel bad about this? No. Okay, cool. I, I won't. He wanted to convert religiously, yes. You're a vampire, so no. Oh, okay. Moral compass gone. <laughs> Do people will do anything for cookies? Like... I want this hat again because it matches my outfit. I need to get back into Mr. Beast's house. What's this? Work attire. Oh, we can't. Oh, Santa? Merry Christmas, chat. Whoop, I see the police. I hope you all had a good Christmas if you celebrate it, chat. You're a little bit too close. Hold on. This is not Mr. Beast's house. What, what the heck is that? Hello? Oh, uh, what? The heck? Steampunk top hat. All right, I'll wear that. Oh god, they're coming this way. Ah, who dare disturbs my midnight experience? Stage your purpose, intruder. Pinky brains. I'm missing something. Chad, I'm missing something. How do I, how do I communicate with this person? Just say narf after everything. Narf. Narf. There. Narf, I must admit your choice of words is intriguing. Pray tell what brings you to my secret lair. Narf. 
Narf, narf, narf. Narf, narf. I am looking for a secret recipe, narf. A secret recipe, you say? How intriguing. I happen to possess a few myself. What kind of recipe are you searching for? <laughs> Just say cookies is the opener. <laughs> it feels like I'm cheating. It really does. You cannot lose. Mayhaps you have a secret of the cookies, Narf? World domination cookies? Ah, World domination uh -huh. cookies. Well, well, well. Seems you're onto something, my inquisitive accomplice. I happen to have a secret recipe for cookies in my work, but you must prove your loyalty. Are you willing to take the risk, Narf? Narf, I will risk it all for this secret, Narf. Your commitment's commendable. Come, come, I shall reveal the secrets inside my lair. Step this way and we will conquer the taste buds of the world. <laughs> he's, he's saying narf now. <laughs> this will ruin my research. Narf, narf. Narf, narf. Narf. Chat, I don't know what an narf is still, but still. Thank you. Thank you for revealing to me the secrets of, of Narf. I need to just run to the house across the street. Oh, hey. <laughs> Preston Pomps. Oh, Regina. How thrilling to see you at this hour. Pray tell what brings you to my abode. Uh, how goes your night, Preston? Pinky's catchphrase, ah. Nice but nothing short of splendid, filled with exquisite company and delightful conversations. And yourself, has your evening researched such, such heights of grandeur? I don't know who this person is. I don't know what they're all about. Ah, what kind of conversations have you had tonight? I'm hoping to have a compelling one with you. <laughs> Latest trends of the art world, classical literature, and high society. Oh. Oh, uh, would you be interested in a croissant? Ah, what is your favorite piece of art recently? Ugh, I couldn't think of a piece of art that I liked recently. <laughs> of abstract, abstract expressionism was captivating. The bold brushstrokes and vibrant colors were a sight to behold. Have you had the pleasure of experiencing any extraordinary art lately? Ah... Uh, Oh god, what's that one painting where the, the person made, like, a new pigment of blue? And it just, like... It, 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 it only shows up on the canvas specifically because of the way that it was painted. <sighs> what was it called? I can't remember. Oh god, it... Do I just describe it to him? Will that help? Oh, thank you for the raid. Mm. I saw a canvas with an extraordinary blue color. It was incredible to witness in person. I've never seen anything like it. 
How delightful! Shading of blue can be a It sounds like a remarkable piece. Was it the artwork that made it so extraordinary? The composition technique or the sheer audacity of the artist's vision? <sighs> it's almost as if the artist made a new shade of blue in the way that the colors were reflecting from the canvas. It was beautiful. <laughs> to witness an artist creating a shade of blue is rare and extraordinary. It speaks to mastery. I can only imagine what are you cap are are you as captivated by art as I am? I really think people these days don't appreciate as much art as they should. Yeah, sure. I couldn't agree more. It's a lamentable state of affairs. The masses seem more enamored with trivial matters failing to grasp the depths. But there are those of us who appreciate it. We must continue to champion the arts and educate others on its significance. I can't remember who the arts buy. New color DLC unlocked. Absolutely. I would love to have more discussions about art with you. <laughs> Your enthusiasm warms my heart. I'd be delighted to engage in more conversation. Come in and if with the confines of my refined abode. Yes, thank you very, very much. <laughs> This is the worst kind of networking. <laughs> he hates networking. This is a difficult situation I'm in. I might have to bat fly away. This is difficult for me. Do you think he'll accept cookies? Is that a bribe? That might be a bribe. Yump scare. We're so out. We're so out, chat. Dude, people can't say no to cookies. I, I just don't know what else to say. Hmm. <laughs> at ease, soldier of the New World Order. What brings you to my humble abode at this late hour of Illuminati machinations? Be a lever. I was just thinking about all the aliens they're hiding at Area 51. How are you? Ah, uh. oh, the extraterrestrial conundrum. They're hiding much more than aliens, my friend. I'm a simple tinhead trying to uncover the truth. How can I assist you? What's your opinion on secret cookie recipes? <laughs> secret cookies, don't distract me with your tasty treats. I won't be swayed. I'm sorry, but I can't entertain such frivolous discussions. Goodbye. 
No! We should have talked more about government secrets. Alien. Chad, I saw one. What do I say to a conspiracy theorist? Uh oh. I think this is this is not good. You're wearing my headband. No. You got my alien headband. This is the worst. Oh, but I got my backpack. That's good. getting more difficult. Fellow seeker of the Illuminati secrets, to what do I owe the pleasure of a sudden appearance at this ungodly hour? I think they're after me. Can you help me? <laughs> Another lamb lost in the wilderness of governance malance. Uh, tell me, what makes you think they're after you? Do you see all of the p police patrolling the streets? They're trying to chase me. They're saying I'm a vampire. Hmm. Vampire! That's a new one, my friend, but alas, I cannot assist you. The path you tread seems eccentric. Good luck for- uh, My path seems eccentric. My path seems eccentric to you. <laughs> He's in it for the games. He's not in it for the truth. <laughs> uh oh. Didn't mean to do that. Where's Mr. East's house? Uh oh. This is bad. I feel like there's houses that I haven't gotten to yet. Are they up to date on the memes enough that I could have a conversation with them about that? having trouble finding the houses that I haven't gone into yet. Is this one? 
Ooh, that's dissonant. Ask the AI real world questions about live events. What's today's date? I could ask what today's date is. Is that the door? If lights are on, you haven't gotten them yet. Oh, so that house. But th but that that house has lights on. Nope, I got you already. Uh-oh, chat. Welcome to the last day of the year. We did it. We made it through this year. I wish I had like a little map of the houses in this neighborhood. So I could keep better track. <laughs> Ahoy fellow adventurer! What brings you to my humble abode on this fine night of enchantment and merriment? Merry Christmas to you, fellow adventurer. What journeys have you embarked upon recently? Lately, I've been delving into the depths of an ancient dungeon filled with treacherous traps and fearsome creatures. Uh, what about you? What quests have you undertaken? Um... I have been on a great quest to free myself from a mind parasite on a journey with all of my friends. That sounds like a truly noble and daring quest, Festive Explorer. Defeating a mind parasite along with your friends must have been an epic adventure. Pray tell, did you emerge victorious from this perilous ordeal? We fought greatly, but we emerged victorious. Thank you for your support. Baldur's Gate? Yes. Uh, Victory in the face of adversity. I'm elated to hear your of your success. The, do you wish to share more of your expo exploits? You have my eager ears. Of course, I would love to share all of my journeys with you and hear about yours as well. I would be honored to have you share within my dungeon. Please come in and regale me with your adventures. Yes! Yes! Baldur's Gate 3, Game of the Year, has saved me. <laughs> this is a critical fail. You rolled a 1 on a d20. Sorry, dude. Well, how come you got to wear a helmet and an eye patch? How come I could jump over that? Oh, <laughs> nice headband, dude. Can we, can we do it now? Brave knight, what brings you to this dimension? Have you come to slay the dragons of government control and hidden truths? Of course, in my dimension, we have already defeated them, so I am here to help you in your dimension. Excellent! The force of deception shall tremble. 
Do enlighten me with your wisdom so we can unveil the secrets that bind us. The best first step is to make sure they cannot hear our conversations. I, I see your point, but why do you think our conversations are being monitored? Is there something specific that concerns you? Of course. Do you not see them wandering around right now? I know they're listening to us. We must be quiet. By the tin heads, you're right. We must protect our discussion. Wait right there while I take necessary precautions. Please don't close the door on me. Please don't, please don't close the door on me. Please, let me help you. We don't have to be alone in this. We can defeat them together. Your office appreciates it's rare to find someone in the gravity. Join me like. This is a cover up. I like how their their screaming cuts off. All right, where's Mr. Beast's house? I am the king. The Vampire King. I know there's someone there's some people we definitely haven't talked to yet, but we're 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 getting low on numbers. Due to the fact that we're killing everybody else. Everyone over here has been gotten Uh oh. Rexhole, thank you for the gifting of the sub. Oh, there. I'm running. I'm running. I'm gonna make a run for it. Oh, <gasps> Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast. I'm the king. Hacker the Impaler. Oh, that, that, we were talking about Tame Impaler earlier. Hey there, my fabulous audience. We've got a royal visitor at our door tonight, complete with a crown and everything. Can you believe it? Let's give a warm welcome to our regal friend and see what they've got in store. Tonight for us, wave of excitement. Smile. Hello, Mr. East. And hello, fabulous audience. I hope you're all having a lovely night tonight. Well, hello there, royal messenger. Welcome to the show. We're having a fantastic night and it's about to get better. What can we do for you? Let's dive right in and make a night to remember. Cheerful vibes all around. I agree wholeheartedly. I think we should spend our time helping out people who need it the most and donate to smaller streamers. Absolutely. Helping others is what it's about. Supporting smaller streamers and lending a hand to those in need. Let's give a round of applause for a fantastic idea. I'm loving this positive energy. I think we need more positivity in this world. I think you are exactly what we need in times like this. 
Wow, well, thank you so much. I'm the thrilled to hear this, Simba. Simba, you're right. We need more of this. Please come in and spread the positive energy together. Let's dance our way to a better world. I agree, Mr. East. Let us dance our way to a better world. Uh, turn your camera around. I hope this gets big views. <laughs> thank you, Rexels. I just got bitten by a vampire. For content. Let's see what happens next. This is why he was buried alive for a week. Oh, so the one that came back was the vampire, Mr. Mr. East. Oh, this is going to get crazy views. We need to run directly across the street to those two houses. How am I supposed to get to those? They're patrolling. Okay, I see... That's 20, 29 and 30, but where's 31? Do we just go for it? <sighs> Konnichiwa, uh, Yoroshika, Mr. East Senpai. It's such an honor to have you visit my humble abode. How may I assist you in your quest for subscriber domination, oh mighty YouTuber Sama? If I say Ohio Gozaimas, is it able to like transliterate that? Ohio Gozaimas, Sakura. I would love to visit with you, my Tomodachi. They got it. <laughs> Cosplay idol son. I'm thrilled to have a fellow otaku visit me. We can discuss the latest anime releases and perhaps even plan a cosplay collaboration. Oh, that would make a great video. All of my anime fans would love to hear your insights on Japanese culture. <laughs> Arigato gozaimasu, cosplay idol son. I'm honored that you think so highly of my insights. I would be delighted to collaborate on, on a Japanese culture. Let's create something amazing together. Hi, hi. I would love to talk about these ideas for with you. What kind of stuff has you have you got in mind? I stumbled through that one. <laughs> Yatta! I'm so happy to hear you're interested in brainstorming. Let's discuss over some delicious ramen and anime marathon in my cozy otaku den. Let's go. Let's go. Anyway, matane! Did this happen in the manga? <laughs> Uh, Yoroshka. Uh, Itadaki Masu. <laughs> Itadaki <laughs> Mr. Feast. <gasps> Nick Klus. Well, hello there, Mr. East. How delightfully unexpected what brings you to my door at this late hour. I thought you might have some exciting ideas for an upcoming video I'm making for the holiday season. Could you help me? Santa Claus. Ah, oh, fellow content creator seeking my wisdom. I have a few ideas, but first I may inquire, have you been naughty or nice? I have been so nice. I have been giving back to my community as much as possible. Is that enough? Hello. Giving back to the community. Well done, Mr. East. That certainly counts as nice. Tell me what kind of video you're planning to make for the holiday season. Hmm. 
Santa's a YouTuber? Yeah, he it's a, it's a side hustle. I thought I would bake a bunch of delicious cookies and give them out to people who need them the most. Doesn't that sound like a great idea? Would you like to help? I just spent a hundred days in Santa's <laughs> workshop. I must admit, it sounds splendid. I'm more than happy to lend a hand. Let's get to work, Mr. East. Yes, let me in. Let me in. Yes, let's get to work. I'm so excited to work with you. Mr. Feastables. Fantastic, your enthusiasm is contagious. Please come on in. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Should have stuck to the North Pole. Mm -hmm. Yes, you should have Santa. Sorry. Uh, chat. We have one left. Where? Where is the one? Lil Swipe. Where? You? What? The girl reading this. The cop? <laughs> one guy. <laughs> one guy in chat. I wish they had like a little indicator of where I need to go. Right at the start of the game. Uh oh. These streets are crawling. Crawling in my sin These wounds, they will not heal The guy that didn't want to do edibles with grandma Oh, that house, I see it <gasps> Uh-oh The pressure's on. The pressure's on. But yeah, no pressure or anything. You. You. Patience, Grandma. Eh, no, I will not have patience. Back where it all began. <laughs> Lil Swipe. Yo, 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 what's cracking, my dog? You caught me off guard with that high vi viz Santa combo hat, but hey, I'm digging the festive vibes. What's poppin'? Hey yo, I'm just here celebrating the holiday season. How you doing tonight? Hey, I'm doing chill, my dude. Just vibing to some beats and feeling the holiday spirit. What's going on in your world? I've been thinking about making some delicious cookies. Would you like to try some of them? It's a secret recipe I heard about from the neighborhood. Oh, no doubt, my homie. I'm always down for some sweet treats. I'm hyped to try your cookies. Let's make it happen. Sure thing. Let's do it. All right, my dude. We're going to bake up a storm. Slide on through and get cooking. My studio's right over there. Come in. The cookies always work. The cookies always work, Jeff. <laughs> the cookies always work. Gonna drop a sick beat in the grave. You clear the neighborhood. First try. I can't believe it.
Yeah, except for the conspiracy guy, he didn't want the cookies. Congrats on completing early suck up early access. Join our official Discord to stay up to date with news, connect with the devs, and share. Wow. I can't believe it. I can't believe we did it. <laughs> we did it, chat. <laughs> Let's go. That was fun. That was seriously fun. I really enjoyed that. That didn't feel like two hours and 40 minutes or whatever. Wow. Cool. Cool game. Yeah, if that, if that seems like it'd be, it'd be uh, fun and interesting to you, you know, g give it a look-see. Do you like to smoke weed Dracula? I'm a little scared of you now, hacker. Uh, no, I would I wouldn't be too I wouldn't be too worried about it. Listen, the cookies are the secret to everybody's hearts. That is what I have learned tonight, okay? Cookies are the secret. Dingo, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you so much. Cookies are the secret to the, to the to the heart, to the soul to the world. <sighs> Happy New Year's chat. What kind of cookies do you sell, Hacker? Oh, uh, I like to make um, molasses crinkles. Those are my favorite kind of cookies. I like no bakes. I made cinnamon rolls recently. I'll actually uh, post a photo of those in the Discord once I get the chance. But all of those, um, really enjoy making those. Uh, I like making delicious things. I made a really good pumpkin roll for Thanksgiving, uh, and it was better than the store-bought stuff. I promise. <laughs> but really, it is getting kind of late, so uh, I think I will just end it here and say thank you for watching, chat. I appreciated you being here. Uh, thanks, Dev, for stopping by. Uh, I hope that you had a good time. I hope that uh, you continue having a good development cycle for your game since this is early access right now, I believe. Uh, I hope everything goes well. And I, I hope you you all have a happy new year. I, I think I'm going to stream on New Year's. I think that is going to be happening. I, I, wouldn't, I would not... Um, I, I want to say yes, but you know, you, you never know. New Year's is crazy. But take care. Uh, I'll see you when Dave is playing American Truck Simulator. Okay, I have to. I, I have to send you to Dave. He's playing American Truck Simulator. Let's raid Dave. Dave Cap. Uh, I will see you all next time I play a game. Yeah. Or, or play in VR or I'm tired chat my my brain my brain hurts I'm so tired <sighs> I'll show cinnamon rolls later <laughs> okay goodbye goodbye chat goodbye take care goodbye uh maybe we'll see you in VR oh, oh, oh you know thank you for the gifted sub okay bye okay bye